Hey guys, welcome to CR Entry Designers. This is Chetan, and in this blender tutorial, we are going to create a hard surface design. So, without further ado, let's get started. To make the model, I need to add the cube. So, Shift A, add the cube. After that, you need to scale this cube along the Z axis, as like this. Then take it on the floor and then adjust the scale a little bit. Then you need to scale this cube along the X axis in this way. After that, you need to press the Ctrl A and then apply the scale. Then you need to go to the edit mode and then select this corner edges with the shift or select and then Ctrl B and then add bevel on these edges. Give the right bevel width and add one second bevel at there. That looks well. Just turn on your extra mode and then select these words and then move them a little bit along the Z axis. Then you need to add the center loop cuts like this. Then select the words and then right click connect vertex path and create a path in between the words. After that you need to select the words right click connect vertex path and create a triangle structure at there as like this. Then you can select these edges and then Ctrl X to dissolve them. Then you can select the center edge and then scale it along the Y axis. After that you need to move this edge along the Z axis as like this. And you will get this kind of form which looks really well. Shift D to duplicate it and make a backup add there. After that you need to use the knife tool and you need to create the supportive structure for the model because we are going to use the sub demodeling method. So that's why use the knife tool and create the structure like this. You can follow the video and you can easily create this kind of structure. It's very simple just you need to use the knife tool and you can create it. Then you need to select everything and then mesh and then symmetrize. Take the symmetry along the Y axis and then X axis. Then use the knife tool and create a path in between the words. And now you can see that looks well. Just select these words, right click connect vertex path and create a path at the is that H. Then just you need to take the symmetry. And now that's look good. Now just use the knife tool one more time and then create a right structure at here. At the bottom side also you need to create the right topology. So that's why you can use the knife tool and you can merge the words like this. And just try to keep the good topology at there. You can select these words and then right click connect vertex path. And then you can select these edges and then Ctrl X to dissolve them. Just take the symmetry here. Then just to need to add the supportive loop cuts like this to maintain the good form on the model. Then just select these words, right click connect vertex path and then try to create the right topology add there. Then you can take the symmetry. Now just you need to add the sub modifier on the model and then you can select these edges and then Ctrl X to dissolve them and just try to keep the right topology on the model. Then add the supporting loop cuts like this and then create a right loop structure and right edge flow add there on the model. Then share smooth it and then increase the sub count up to 2. So you will get a decent look on the model which looks really well. Then you can add a few more loop cuts like this on the model. Add the bunch of loop cuts at here. And here also you need to create the right loop structure that cross intersection loop structure. And then you need to select the words and then right click connect vertex path. Here you need to create the right intersection loop structure. If there will be any extra edges then Ctrl X to dissolve them and then create a right loop structure at there on the model. And now that looks really well. Just select these edges and then Ctrl X to dissolve them. Then you can select these faces and then press I for the insert operation then use the loop tool and then circle option and you need to create a little bit of boolean details at there. That's it. Easily you can get this kind of boolean details. Now you can see the loop structure on the model which looks really well. Just take the symmetry and the form of the model is decent. 
then now I will create a little bit of design on the model that's not difficult I will use the previous base mesh so you can see here is that base mesh and I will use it to create a little bit of design on it and to create that outer cover so you can see this base mesh at here this one and then you need to select its face and then press P for the selection to make a different object and then you can isolate it and we will use just only this face to create that design so just select this face and start to work on it you need to select this edge and then double tap G for the edge slide so you can keep a little bit of gap at there in between these two flips means from both sides then you can select the words and then right click connect vertex path and you can create a path in between the words then I can select everything and then E to extrude it and extrude it along the Z axis you can use the extrude along the normal and you can extrude it then you can turn on your extra mode and you can select these words and you can move them along the normal Z axis as like this and you can create the tapper form at there as well as you can maintain the bottom part which will avoid that gap it will feel like that it is connected to the base mesh that first mesh which we have created you can see this kind of design we want to create and easily we can do this with the help of this mesh then set the origin to the geometry and then you can adjust its position a little bit then just start to work on this part and then add the support to loop cuts to maintain the good form on the model it's not that much difficult easily you can do this then just you need to add the subd modifier and increase its count up to 2 and then shear smooth it then add few more loop cuts like this to maintain the good form and good shading on the model it's pretty easy and now you can see that looks really well Then you can set the origin to the 3D cursor and you can add the mirror modifier so you can get the another side and you can see the design. It looks like this. It's more or less like a power bank or something that kind of gadget you can say and you can create anything from it as per your creativity. So just try to create anything. Now just I'm refining this model and just I will try to figure out the design. I just want to do a few experiments how I can fix the top part on the bottom part so I will get decent looking design it will feel well that's it In this way you can create this kind of model. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching. If you like this tutorial then hit that like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Bye bye. See so you next video. Take care.